All right, to reach the first location, we are going to start from the giant glow tube that sticks up out of the water. And from here, we are going to head southwest until we reach a wreck in the sparse reef biome. If you have the coordinates for life pod 19, you can also use that to find this area as well. Now going here, all you're gonna really need is your Seamoth with a Mark II depth module, and that's really about it. Oh, you also need a laser cutter, so you can access, like fully access the entire wreck. But other than that, you won't really need anything else because this wreck, no hostile creatures at this wreck that you'll have to worry about, so you won't have to bring like any perimeter defense or anything crazy like that. This wreck is entirely safe. Once we've reached the wreck, we can start looking for our modification station fragments. Okay, nothing in this part of the wreck, but I did get a bunch of supply crates, so that's cool, I guess. Let's go to the other part of the wreck. Well, it appears I've been unlucky. So I wasn't able to find anything at this wreck, but that is okay, because that's what all the other wrecks on this list are going to be for. So if you get in the same scenario that I am in right now, and you check maybe like one or two wrecks and you aren't able to find anything, don't panic or worry. That's why I'm showing basically all the spots that you can find the modification station fragments at. This game, as far as fragment spawns go, fragment and data box spawns, it's a little bit random and it can vary from save to save. So just because something may be here in my game specifically doesn't mean that it'll be there in your game as well, which is why, you know, again, I'm showing all the spots because the spawns in your game can be different than mine. All right, to reach the next spot, we are going to start from the giant coal tube that sticks up out of the water again. And from here, we are going to head two and a half notches to the right of Southeast until we reach a entrance to the jelly shroom caves and the grassy plateau biome. Now going here, you're gonna to wanna to bring your Seamoth with a Mark II depth module. You're also gonna want perimeter defense on that Seamoth just in case. If you want to be double safe, you can bring your stasis rifle. You don't need a laser cutter for this spot because it's not technically a wreck, it's actually a base. Now in terms of hostile creatures that you'll run into here, the main thing that you'll run into are going to be crab snakes, which sort of hide in the giant mushrooms in the jelly shroom cave. So if you steer clear of those, you should be okay, but if one does come after you, you can just hit it with your perimeter defense or hit it with a stasis rifle. But as we can see, this is going to be the cave entrance that you are going to be looking for. So once you've reached this cave entrance, you're going to want to head straight down into the cave. And shortly after, you should see the Degasi base. And this is the Degasi base that we're going to be looking for. And once you are here, you can start looking for... If I can stop bumping into everything, we can start looking for the modification station fragment. And I think I already saw one around this left side over here. Yep, there's one right there. So we got one fragment. Okay, we got another fragment right here. So we got two fragments. Oh, okay. Yep, we have a third fragment. And they're all... The good thing about this pod is if you are going to find fragments here, they're all going to be contained in this like super tiny space look at them coming out the freaking okay it looks like i was able to find three fragments here total and they were all outside of the gassy base so there was one on the left side one on the right side and then one like sort of behind everything but with that we can head on to our next spot all right to reach our next location we are going to start from the giant close to the six up out of the water you once again and from here we are going to head about one notch to the right of northwest until we reach the until we reach a large wreck in the northwestern mushroom forest now going to this rank, all you're going to want to bring is your Seamoth with a Mark 1 depth module and perimeter defense. Again, like the last spot, you're also going to want to bring a laser cutter to fully access the wreck. And if you want to be double safe, you can bring a stasis rifle just like before. So the main hostile creature that you'll be running into in the Northwestern Mushroom Forest is going to be Bone Sharks. And they're in super little numbers, so they're not all that intimidating, but you can easily freeze them, hit them with perimeter defense, or you can honestly attack them with your knife. And the other threat that you may or may not, it's like a 50-50 chance, is the Crab Squid. So the Crab Squid sits in the... He chills over in the northern northern blood kelp zone, which is right next to the northwestern mushroom forest. So he has a small chance of coming into the forest, but sometimes he won't, sometimes he will. So if he does come into the forest, just try to avoid him as best you can, because he can disable your Seamoth with a little like EMP attack that he sets off. You can hit him with your stasis rifle, or if you're fast enough, you can hit him with your perimeter defense. Alrighty, we are now at this wreck, and with that, we can start looking for our fragment. Oh, there's one right there. Alright, we got one fragment so far. 
Oh, okay, there's another fragment right here. So we have two fragments so far. Scan it, back. That's pretty good, pretty good. All right, so in total, we were only able to find two fragments at this wreck, which is, you know, that's not awful. You know, I feel like an awful run would be only finding one fragment. So I think we got, you know, pretty decent. So this wreck is located in the Northwestern Mushroom Forest. And in this mushroom forest, you can also find fragments for the modification station on the sea floor. Okay, and as we can see, there is a fragment right here. I found it right on the sea floor, not too far away from the wreck in the Northwestern Mushroom Forest. You know, if you do come to check this wreck and you aren't able to find anything up there or you aren't able to find all your fragments, you can also try your hand and look around on the sea floor of this mushroom forest to see if you can find fragments as well because they can spawn over here. With that, we can head on to our next spot. All right, to reach our next location, we are going to start from the giant coral tube that sticks up out of the water once again. And from here, we are going to head about half a notch to the left of south until we reach a wreck in the grassy plateaus. So when going to this wreck, all you really need, again, is gonna be your Seamoth with a Mark I depth module and perimeter defense. You're also gonna bring your stasis rifle for extra safety if you want it. You're gonna need your laser cutter to fully access the wreck. Now the only two threats that you'll encounter in this specific spot are going to be sand sharks, which are small aggressive creatures, super easy to deal with. They don't have a lot of health. Just hit them with your perimeter defense or your stasis rifle to get them up off you, or you can just attack them with a knife. And then the other thing you run into are biters, which are, you know, just like super small. They don't even do that much damage, honestly. I think they do like five, 10 damage per hit. You can easily get rid of them using your knife or permanent defense on your Seamoth. All right, and we are now at the right, and we can start looking for our modification station fragment. Boom, and there's a modification station fragment right there. Oh, that's another one right there. That's two. All right, so we found two fragments here because it's about as big as this wreck is gonna. Oh, okay, never mind. I can't see it. We found three. Never mind. That's a mobile vehicle. They ain't got my whole stuff for nothing. But we were able to find two modification station fragments here. So this wreck is actually right next to another spot that you can find modification station fragments at. And that spot is going to be the Crag Fields. So what we're going to do is we are going to start from this specific wreck. And from here, we are going to head just in between south and southwest until we reach the Crag Fields bio. Now in the Crag Fields, you know, you're going to want to bring your, again, your Seamoth with your Mark 1 depth module, perimeter defense, and your stasis rifle. You don't need a laser cutter here because there's nothing to cut open. You're gonna be looking on the sea floor for these fragments. And as we can see, the main hostile creature that you run into here are bone sharks, which are aggressive creatures and they can do a bit of damage, quite a bit of damage, especially if they're all in a group. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to be careful of them. Hit them with your perimeter defense and your stasis rifle and just be aware of them and don't shine any lights on them because that will draw their attention almost instantly. But we are now at the crag fields and we can start looking for the fragments. So in the crag fields, you're going to be able to find these fragments or you may be able to find the fragments on the seafloor of the biome, just like you were able to in the mushroom forest. But my luck might be a little bad here, so I might not be able to find anything. Unfortunately, here I was not able to find any fragments, any modification station fragments on the seafloor, which is unfortunate, but you know, it's, it is what it is. Let's head on to our next spot. All right, to reach our next location, we are going to start from the giant crow to the six step out of the water once again. And from here, we are going to head about two and a half notches to the right of northwest until we reach a wreck in the grassy plateaus again. Now going here, you're going to bring your Seamoth with a Mark 1 depth module and its perimeter defense, and you're also going to want to bring your stasis rifle and your laser cutter so you can fully access the wreck once again. As far as hostile creatures go, you're going to be running into your sand sharks and your biters again, just like you did at the last grassy plateau wreck. So sand sharks, just to reiterate, they're small, hostile, aggressive creatures that will jump about the sand to attack you. They don't do that much damage and they're really easy to deal with. Hit them with your permanent defense or your stasis rifle. And biters, even smaller, very little damage just like the sand sharks do and they're really easy to counter and deal with. You can easily get rid of them with your knife, hit them with permanent defense, or if you feel the need, hit them with your stasis rifle. All right, now that we've reached our wreck, we can start looking for our fragment. All right, unfortunately, it looks like there was no fragments here at this wreck as well, which is kind of, you know, a bummer, but it's okay. No fragments here, so let's go on into our next wreck. All right, to reach our next location, we are going to start from the giant crow tooth that sticks up out of the water once again. And from here, we are going to head about one and a half notches to the left of northeast until we reach a wreck in the grassy plateaus. Now, once again, just like the other grassy plateaus wreck, we're going to bring our Seamoth with a Mark 1 depth module and your stasis rifle. You're going to need a laser cutter to again fully access the wreck you're gonna run into the same hostile creatures as you did before so the sand shark and the biters both super small annoying but they don't deal that much damage and really easy to deal with you can hit them both with your perimeter defense stasis rifle or your knife
Alrighty, and now that we have reached this wreck, we can start searching for our fragments on the inside. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. All I had to do was ask. So we got one fragment right here. All right, so it looks like that was the only fragment I was able to find at this wreck, and that is A-OK. -okay. So let's go on to our next wreck location. All right, to reach our next wreck location, we are going to start from the giant quote tube that sticks up out of the water again. And from here, we are going to head about one and a half notches to the right of northeast until we reach a wreck in the bulb zone. Now going to the bulb zone, you're going to 100% want to bring your Seamoth with its Mark II depth module this time. You're going to want perimeter defense on that Seamoth and you're 100% going to want to bring your stasis rifle here. You're going to need your laser cutter as usual to, you know, fully access the wrecks. Now as far as hostile creatures go, it's going to be a little bit different. So there are a few hostile creatures that you're going to run into in the bulb zone. So we have Mesmers bone sharks amp eels and warpers so warpers can teleport you out of your sea moth and while you're swimming around they're super annoying the best thing you can do against them is if they do teleport you you can use your sea glide to outrun them easily or you can attack them with your knife till they take enough damage to walk away bone sharks are going to be the same as they were in the crag fields so hit, hit them with your perimeter defense or you can hit them with your stasis rifle be wary of them because they can do a lot of damage if they do gang up on you mesmers can sort of like mind control you if you are outside of your vehicle the breakout of it all you have to do is simply look in another direction and move around you know like move your camera like frantically to the left and right to sort of break free of their hold and you'll be okay but they can do a lot of damage if you do get too close to them so be careful of that and then finally you have the amp eels which are immune to perimeter defense and they're also super sensitive to light just like the bone sharks so don't shine any lights on them but your best bet against them is going to be to hit them with your stasis rifle because they aren't immune to that so hit them with your stasis rifle and avoid them as best as you can All right, and we have now reached our first wreck inside the bulb zone. So let's go on and start searching for our modification station fragment. I hate to tell y'all, ain't nothing in here for me. Well, unfortunately, I was not able to find anything at this wreck. No modification station fragments here. So let's move on to our next wreck location. And I believe this is going to be our final wreck location. So to make things easier, instead of starting from the giant coil tube that sticks up out of the water all the way over there, we are going to start from the bulb zone wreck that I just showed. So from this wreck, we're going to start from this wreck. And from here, we are going to head about half of a notch to the right of east until we reach a second wreck in the bulb zone and you should not have to go that far because it's not that far away all right and we are now at the second wreck in the bulb zone and now that we're here, we can start looking for our fragments once again. And hopefully we actually find something at this one. Uh, nothing in here so far. Oh, wow. Okay, so we didn't find anything in either of the bulb zone wrecks. All right, so those are all the wrecks that you can find the modification station fragments at. And two of those spots weren't even wrecks. They were biomes the crag fields and the north northwestern mushroom forest that you can find the fragments on the sea floor at remember that as you check these different wrecks if you check one wreck and you don't find anything there don't panic and don't assume that you know none of the fragments spawned in your game all that means is that they spawned in a different spot that does not mean that they didn't spawn at all in your game that just means that you have to check another spot until you're able to find all the fragments that you're looking for because the fragments can be a bit scattered around in this game but other than that that is about all i have for y'all i hope y'all enjoyed thank y'all for watching and i will see y'all in the next one peace